Well, I think I now come off across as jumping off the deep end when it comes to diet. However, my boyfriend and I are finding out some crazy statistics on food and how it plays into your health, and I just wanted to share them with you, but this video is not to push any diet style on anyone, just to inform, and I think it's fascinating, so let's continue. So, fruititarianism, that's basically a diet consisting of primarily, or at least mostly, of fruit, and Wikipedia says in the botanical sense, but they also say um, along with nuts and seeds. However, Dr. Robert Morse, ND, who I'm getting this information from, you can look him up on YouTube or just a Google search, um, he's this incredible naturopathic doctor who has helped people across the world. He has the proof to show that this diet actually can change your life. And just him giving the information that human beings are tropical creatures and we're supposed to live on a fruit-only diet with a little bit of veggies, but even he says veggies are hard on your digestive tract. Too much fiber, all the stuff I'm learning. I took a few dietitian classes throughout high school and college I learned a little bit here and there afterwards, and I've been one of those people who highly criticizes vegans, vegetarians, people with gluten intolerances. Like, I was always the person ragging on them, right? Just like you might be. However, over time and meeting the right people, I kind of found out what the real information behind these things is. The fact that people who are gluten intolerant are really just suffering whenever they have the GMO processed wheat where the wheat germ has all been removed and put in stupid vitamin supplements, which they also make so it barely has any wheat germ. All of this like crazy illusionary shit. And then they try to get the masses to blame the people with the food allergies because, oh, they make it hard at restaurants. Like, for real, there really isn't much reason to shit on anyone for their dietary needs or anything. I understand where that incessant need comes to say, oh, well, that's not the normal way of doing things. That's not society's way of doing things. However, if you take a step back and realize what our society is of fast food and ingesting meats. And that's the other insane thing he said with meats and nuts, they're high in protein. Our body doesn't even handle protein. It breaks protein down into sugars. This doctor is incredible. And I urge you all, no matter what your diet is right now, whether it's pizza and soda every night of the week, or whether you're vegetarian or vegan or raw dieting, whatever cool thing you're into, take the time and at least learn about what this is because I didn't know anything about it. And just hearing about it last weekend, I already want to do it. I want to do it for the sole reason that the things, the outcomes he says that your body will go through, the transformation. He talks about how fruit are just a high energy, high vibration food. Now, I don't know if many of you are into the chakras and spirit science of it all, and that's okay if you aren't, but high vibrations or high energy foods, that's the stuff you want to intake every day because it's keeping you, like everything's vibrations, right? If you look up string theory, that's the theory, however, it's not really well constructed. Scientists are still trying to figure out what exactly this idea is. However, it has been proven that vibrations create everything. Light creates everything. So everything is just vibrations down to cells. So they're saying if you ingest food with high vibrations and high energy, you're raising it. Therefore, you're raising your spirit's energy or your consciousness. But with low energy foods, like the things we eat every day, whether it's meat, even vegetables are included in some low energy foods. So you might even think you're doing well with a diet, but you might not be eating stuff that was meant for humans. I know some of this sounds really crazy because we were all brought up to say, oh, fruits and veggies are the absolute best for you. However, you do need your protein. You do need your carbohydrates. But he talks about how you actually get carbohydrates in other ways. He talks about just breathing, being able to nourish your body. Trust me, I know. 
he sounds nutso bananas. However, this man has a billion and six degrees, and he has the proof in the pudding. So I'd rather trust somebody that actually heals people. And in all honesty, I think the generation coming up right now is going to be huge in naturopathic remedies. Honestly, it's the way to go. He was talking about how allopathic doctors, which is medicine in the Western world, basically when you go to a clinic, those doctors normally receive the education that they get in mass with going through school and they believe it however it's completely wrong and most of the doctors you're going to couldn't even tell you the information i've told you and i'm no doctor girl i am no doctor i'm literally just a person who sits and listens to others with a bunch of knowledge with an open mind i don't judge people based on my quick reactionary influxes anymore. I used to. It's ego-driven. If you want to do that, you can, and you're going to survive in this society, and you'll probably do well, which will help you reinforce the idea that it's good. However, all of these naturopath people, whether it's a doctor, an acupuncturist, a chiropractor, a masseur, all these people are kind of giving me different information that says, you know what, take the time and study it, find out what's right for you, learn breathing techniques, take care of yourself, relax the mind, turn it off when you incessantly think nonstop and you can't control your thoughts, you're just jumping from one to another. This is basically a broad overview of how to get your life back. Honestly, I definitely know how nutty it sounds. I, myself, judged all of this information at first. However, within the last two to three years, it's completely changed my life. Now, I know there are plenty of reasons for going into weird diets or normal diets that sound weird. I completely get it whether you want to lose weight or get tone or whatever. Mine is solely to get my health back. I'm always exhausted and sometimes my skin acts weird and I just have some random things that I want to clear up. So I started looking into what I could do naturally and, you know, I first started with apple cider vinegar and some lemon water because that kickstarts your metabolism and it makes your skin really good and helps with so many other things. I started using coconut oil in everything. I use it to oil pull my teeth. I put it on my skin. I use it in my hair. I mean, it's the best lubrication for sex, can I just say? Anywho, um, all of these natural remedies are surpassing my ideas of what I ever thought they could be. However, the reason I am invested in learning more and trying out fruitarianism is solely to clean my body. It's really not for any vanity reason. I honestly just listened to Dr. Morse talk about the amounts of things you can heal with your diet and most people know that right like if you want to lose weight that's you healing your body you want to disbelieve this i can feel it i understand why i did as well but the moment you put this man on and listen to him for five minutes i would start with the introduction i think the video is called who is dr robert morse nd brilliant he's gonna suck you in he is light and love and energy and he makes you feel like you're not stupid. He makes everything easy. He talks about how the body is really just two liquids. It's blood and lymphatic fluids. None of the doctors in the Western world hardly know anything about the lymphatic system, let alone lymph fluid. I mean, he breaks it down so easily that he says only one quarter of the liquid in your body is blood. The other three quarters are lymph fluid. Do you ever wonder what that pus is when you get a whitehead pimple? Or maybe you've had cysts in your life. Or maybe you've had a tumor anywhere, whether it's benign or malignant. All of those things, when filled with a liquid, is mostly filled with lymph fluid. That white pus, that's lymph fluid. That's the stuff that cleans your body out. And he also blew my mind with another fact. We need to live in an alkaline diet. The world, Earth, that we live on is made up of alkaline chemistry. It's all base chemistry here. Anything acidic dies. If you look at Mars, he references how Mars used to look just like Earth. And also, if you want proof of that, look up spirit science or Nova. I mean, there's information all over the place that Mars used to be a robust water-bearing planet. So, isn't it kind of weird that CO2 overtook the planet? and that greenhouse gases made it unlivable. And that's exactly what we're doing here. Weird, interesting how the diet of man 
may have followed from another planet nearby. It's just really interesting. A lot of corrupt people in power need a slave nation, also a reason to maybe look into why you're eating what you eat. Why is it promoted? Why are cancer rates going up? Why is heart disease going up? Why are all of these disorders going up when we have state-of-the-art hospitals, cancer institutes, and the most funding that's ever been flooded into the medicinal world ever? Don't you ever stop to think? It's just really something to start weighing. I mean, how much do you want to believe the propaganda machine? Why distrust the main media when it comes to politics but not your food? Am I right? We already see them lying about Flint, Michigan and the water, and if they're able to lie to us about water, why do you think they wouldn't about food? just putting it out there. Anyway, he also talks about that since we are in alkaline base chemistry, which you know there's two ends of chemistry, acid and base, we want to lean more towards alkaline. You don't want to go full on crazy, but he talks about how when you're in an alkaline state, your body can't produce cancer. You don't create cancerous cells because cancer is just mutated cells. And when your body's in an alkaline state, your cells aren't mutating because they're working and functioning properly. So he talks a lot about how if you just get your body to where it's supposed to be, it won't feel like a body anymore. You won't be lethargic or gluttonous. You won't crave foods you don't want because your body and your brain will know, hey, that's poison. Because honestly, it just is. I mean, if you think about it, most of the food on shelves in grocery stores today are plastics or dyes or GMO or Monsanto. It's all gross. Don't eat it. I mean, honestly, he is literally saying that you'd be better off getting fruit that's not organic because fruit naturally knows when it grows, its only function is to be the most nutritious thing available. So its roots try to filter out the best it can from the chemicals going in. So you're better off eating fruit that's not organic than the most grass-fed, free-range, cattle, chicken, pork, whatever have you kind of meat. You can't digest meat properly. Your body doesn't know what to do with dead carcass. It can't use it. It has to break it down to sugar or fructose. Fructose is the easiest kind of sugar for our bodies to handle besides galactose, but a baby after the age of two can't handle galactose. So yes, for the first two years, that's the best kind of sugar that a baby can receive. However, after that, fruit, 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 fruit. I'm telling you, look into it. It's going to blow your fucking mind. And I'm not even saying do it. Just know about it. And if you ever have a friend who is diagnosed with cancer, God forbid, don't you want to be the friend who can maybe give some sound advice that maybe resonates with them better than, hey, poison your body and fill it up with big pharma? Because the most atrocious thing that I learned from Dr. Morse is that Western medicine is pushing chemotherapy onto people, and I know a lot of us know that chemotherapy is bad, but how many of us take the time to realize that's an acid? He claims that chemotherapy is actually acidic base just above battery acid. So if you want to go out to your car and open up your car battery and drip a little under your skin, that's what chemotherapy is doing in a human body. It's eating through the cells. So it may eat through the cancer cells, but it's eating your good cells too. And that's important to know. Again, you can shun this off for right now. I understand you might be getting angry or defensive. You probably want to clap back with a comment. I'm just telling you, the only reason you're defensive is because in the world of chakras, which is real, you don't have to believe it, but it's in you. In that world, your ego is your brain's main defender. Your ego wants to boast and brag about you. Therefore, when you know something is true deep down in your core, your heart or your gut is telling you it's right, your ego is going to sit there and tell you it's not. Because you know better. You know better than doctors. I mean, that's really what's happening. So digest this information. Think about it all you want. Please take the time to Google fruititarianism or even better YouTube Dr. Morse ND and really get a life lesson you just weren't prepared for. He's going to revolutionize your life. And I'm just at the cusp of learning about this. So I really just wanted to share it with you. I hope it was helpful, and I have plenty more information to give you. I'm going to look up more information as well, so if you have any questions, definitely put a comment below. But also, just take the time to realize what you're putting into your body. Realize how food makes you feel. 
Is it something you want to eat every day? And by no means is anyone telling you that you can't enjoy a dessert or a treat every now and then. I mean, my god, I know my weakness is dairy. But after I learned what dairy does to your system, a fuck new, okay? Anyway, I hope you learned something from this today. Take care of yourselves and just make sure to eat better. That's all.